I was talking to some people about Shambhala and what it was. And that is something that they said that this Shambhala is something that is under the earth. Mm. It's there in the Buddhist thought process. Yeah. I personally felt that uh, there is a scene when Mariam comes forward before she sings that song right. to that circular yeah, that design, yeah, yeah. which I, I, I don't know whether I'm correct in saying that, but it's a very Buddhist. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I, is that what went through your mind? It was, sir. I think the idea of Shambhala is something that is very similar to our culture and Buddhist culture, even Persian culture. They have different names for yes. it. Uh, and I felt that it's very interesting that all of them have names somewhat similar also. Somebody calls it Shangri-La, somebody calls it Shambhala. And all of them say that it's a place where people are going to uh, sort of retreat to in the Kali Yuga when, you know, Adharma becomes so much more outside and that's where the avatar will come, the saviour will come, so yeah. to speak. So, I felt it's very interesting that so many cultures have the same idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea of the symbols in Shambhala was like a mix between the chakras that we have, yeah. the Sri Chakra and all of that, combined with the mandalas that Tibetans have, which are yes. so similar. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so that that was that we just wanted to find i think in the production design discussions that we were having we were always trying to see like how culture would be amalgamated in 6000 years it wouldn't be like sharp lines between cultures and traditions yeah. things would probably get merged a bit yeah